Hello and welcome in again, everyone. Sergeant Dead Red back with you for this week's episode four of this old Valheim house. This week we're going to be looking at a couple of tree houses that we've sprinkled across a few different servers. This was sort of our first attempt at a tree house, and we had a lot of fun with it. I think when we first got started with this one, we didn't have access to iron yet. So it was a little difficult doing the support. We later went back and did some support, but we left most of the core wood poles in place really more, more for decoration at this point. So out front here, we did the little starter house. This was we first tested. We said, hey, what can we do up in the trees? So we built a little starter house here just to kind of test things out and say, hey, what, you know, what's, what's our potential here? You know, this is where we learned if uh, you want a fireplace on top of the rocks, you either need to put uh, wood and iron beams. And again, we didn't have access to those, I believe, when we first started this build. So the other thing is if you actually touch the rock to the tree, it counts as a solid point. It will turn blue and it will allow you to put a fireplace up in the trees, even if you don't have access to the iron supports. So as we graduated on, we moved inside. We actually built the stone structure up from the bottom. And again, you know, since we didn't have the iron supports initially, it was a little hard to get some of that done. Uh, we since went back and added some of that. Little terrace area out here, a little scenic overlook. Let's take a quick peek inside here. We got a nice fireplace. We came back and added the iron supports at a later date. Double hearth. And again, you know, we're supported here by the tree. The tree has given us support. It's given us the anchor point. And both of those are blue. We are comfort level 17 in this house. Out back here, we had a little uh, gray dwarf tower as I call it in the black forest so we made use of this little gray dwarf tower it's a second entry point to come into the house it's kind of nice to have two entry points coming in we've got one around front and this one around here we tried not to mess with it too much but we had to repair a few of the blocks the house is fully functional we didn't add some of the attaching pieces up there there wasn't a lot of need for it Again, double hearth fireplace. We'll take a quick look underneath after we look at the last building. Same thing, a little scenic overlook out front. And just overall a fun build. We tried doing a couple different structures up here just to, just to test things out. And this is more or less just a gathering area here that out front, and again, Hearth fireplace, no support other than the fact that it's touching the tree, which gives it the support that it needs. Quick look underneath. So you see all the core wood supports here. Again, we didn't have access to the iron poles initially when we did this build, so we we built out as far as we could, and then we had to add the core supports in because we were far enough away from the tree where it mattered. But then we learned from this, we learned from some of our mistakes. And the next tree house I'll take you to, you'll see some vast improvements. And so far the trolls haven't knocked this down. So this is our second tree house that we worked on, complete with a boat dock out front. We didn't even do a boat dock on the other one, like I said, it was more of a test build. This one's a little more user friendly, and I apologize if it does get a little dark here in advance. We are pretty close to the mist lands in this area, so sometimes it uh, works with the camera rendering, sometimes it doesn't. But you can see here the little boat dock area. We don't have a boat here, sorry about that. Uh, but you can see the massive structure up here in the trees now. Let's take a closer look at this. 
And on this build, we didn't use any of the core wood supports. Uh, the only caveat to that is we do have some core wood supports that support the stairs. There wasn't a good option for trees in those locations. But you can take a quick look underneath here. We have our work area set up, our smelters. Uh, what we did do here underneath is we definitely used the trees to support everywhere and we ran the ironwood beams and poles between the trees to get support where we didn't have some support. So unlike some of the builds that I've seen is there's an awful lot out there that uh, where they actually plant the trees in a certain pattern and everything and that's great. I choose not to do that. I like to take a look at the trees that are around and try to use the existing trees and not replant anything if at all possible. But you can see this is a pretty massive structure. I don't know exactly how large the building is. We got our trophies out front, our overlook. Let's go inside here. So this is the main uh, conference meeting area. And you can see some of the trees that come right up inside the building. And again, those give you support. Anything you put towards those will be blue. They'll be a good anchor point. And you don't have many concerns. The same thing, we've got a double hearth here. Chimney section going out. Our trophies as usual. Out back here we have a crafting area that we use on a regular basis so we've got this house built close to the Great North up here pretty close I've got the mini map turned off right now but uh, we're kind of hopes when they uh, do release the uh, the deep north that there will be things to do and we can use this as kind of a forward operating base for that The next area over here is really just a little uh, little room. We haven't made any real big plans for this yet. We haven't even put any real decoration in it. There is a second floor loft area to this where we have just the minimal attachments that we needed to upgrade the workbench all the way. There's a bed space up here for one of our community members. But a nice little area here. Some of the foot space is in the way. You've got uh, level 17 throughout. And obviously we have our uh, portal up here from the main base. Right next door here and covered all the way through. That way you can stay dry between your areas. Is our food and cooking and crafting area. So once again, as I mentioned in the first part of this video, either wood iron supports or your stones have to be touching a beam, otherwise you will not get proper support. Moving on, just another common area. We thought about doing one of the acorn houses up here, but I hadn't got to that point yet. So for now we have this structure up here. It's really just a fire pit area, kind of a nice little area. And then up above here, we have some bed spaces, sleeping areas, but overall a really fun build on this tree house and really quite a massive structure. You can actually jump through the windows here and go between the two buildings if you choose. But overall, like I said, a really fun build. I have a habit of actually putting some of these guys up in the trees. Something I like to do for fun. We've got our troll looking down on us here. But overall, just a fun build. Ironwood beams. Like I said, the other side is all supported by trees. 
where don't run the beams up from the bottom. The core wood supports were only used in the locations of the stairwell, so just a fun build. And the last treehouse I'm going to take you to today is just the little project build that I did. I wanted to make a structure shaped like a pine cone. So I've done some acorn builds, or we call them acorn builds, because they were labeled by one of my moderators. And so I made an attempt here to make it look a little bit like a pine cone. So without the roof, it really does. The structure is completely supported by the pine tree and just a couple of wood iron beams used in strategic locations at the base and a few throughout the structure up top just the same thing just to give us some support the top is not perfect but this was a fun build the actually the only way to get into this tree house is the portal over so that's why you see a portal inside and pay no attention to that guy sitting in the chair in there right now he's just hanging out so it was definitely a fun little build give you a quick look on the inside there's just minimal items in here it was never meant to be a main base or anything but definitely a fun little build once again supported by the trees we do have a fireplace here so we can get our comfort level up. Got a little upstairs area here. And generally just a lot of fun on this. This one, uh, this one took a little while, even though it's a very small structure, it took a little while to figure out the angles and to get everything to line up. But definitely a lot of fun. The roof is there. Otherwise, it rains straight in the building. Anyway, take care, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe. If not, you're feel free to leave a comment. And have fun playing Valheim out there.